Absolutely. Well, let me show you how we can do this and me as a winemaker uh, take this into my own hands and go ahead and automate this process. All right. So here back in JD Edwards, I'm going to sign in and underneath my uh, sign in, I now have a new option called report record a process. And this is our process recorder, which we just delivered in 9224. All right, I'm going to use that today to generate a service request, which I can hook up to any IoT or mobile device to hopefully alleviate this bottleneck that you just described to me, Lyle. So how am I going to do that? Well, let me start the recorder and let me launch my application. And this process is really as simple as start and stop as I just walk through my daily activity. In this case, I create a uh, blend operation. I enter my header info. I go through. So you're just filling the winning. form as you normally would. Absolutely. Right, as a user Nothing of the system. Nothing special. Nothing special. Except trying to remember what was on that wine stain. <laughs> I think that was right. And what did we see? 25, 23, something around there. That's a rounding error. So go ahead and put it in. Go ahead and save and close. And now I can stop my recording. And I have a service request. So I give the service request a name. That makes sense. Maybe a product code. And I go ahead and save it. Now that I have a service request, I've essentially automated exactly what it is that you just saw. So the next step in the process is to go into our studio, our orchestrator studio, maybe verify the steps of that process that I just recorded, make sure that it has everything that I saw. So I went in to search for operations. I believe you guys saw that. I went ahead and clicked add there. Now I have operation header. I enter the header information. I have operation detail. That's where I recorded the vessel, I recorded the test results. And then, oh, well, there's this fourth step here. Maybe we didn't see me take the fourth step, but this fourth step is what the recorder did for me. It went ahead and closed the actual application because I forgot to. So process recorder is actually smart enough to make sure that I don't create open-ended service requests. Nice. So now that I have that, the next step is to wrap that in an orchestration and maybe expose my uh, inputs for what I expect to get from that mobile device. All right, so let's go ahead and find my, I tried to save us some time today, created an orchestration ahead of time that consumes that form service request. And we gave it some inputs. Let me quickly just show you what that looks like. You can see I brought in the branch, I brought in the vessel, I brought in the result. And in this case, I also put device ID in case you're doing some order You've got an IoT device and you want to cross-reference it. I've exposed that as well. Then the other thing that you can do through Orchestrator is we have this simple rules engine and we can actually connect to notifications as well. So I thought, you know, as a winemaker, not only do I want things coming in as efficiently and accurately as possible, but I don't want to have to sign back into the system every time there's a failure. I'd like it to actually notify me. So I went in and added a rule to evaluate those test results as they come in. And any time they fail, I went ahead and sent myself an actual notification. So let's take a look at what that looks like. We, uh, we deliver with the studio the orchestrator client. And that allows you, after you create these orchestrations with no build or promotion, you have access to this. You pull them up, and you can simulate what it would be like to get this information off an IoT device or mobile device coming in. So I've entered my information. I go ahead and run and I go back to J.D. Edwards. Let me go ahead and close out. Oh, and as I was doing that, you'll maybe have noticed that up here a second notification came in to let me know that I had a BRICS test failure. Let me go ahead and open that up. BRICS test, that would be that sugar test. That's that sugar test that we just did, yes. Okay. So it tells me what WAYTAG I got it in on, what the failure was, and actually gives me a uh, link to an app that I can go in and actually now investigate those details and decide what I want to do with the load. 